Hi there, I'm Vanessa Joanne. I'm a past life psychic and we're going to be talking about what the hell is soul contracts. Hey guys, welcome again to my channel. Thank you again, as always, being here today and watching my videos. Um, so today we're going to talk about soul contracts. What the hell is it? Let's get in detail about it and how you can clear it for yourself as well. So soul contract is something I've always been really fascinated about since I was like starting my spiritual journey. This was because of, unfortunately, some really hardships with relationships and people in my lives I really just was not vibing with or did not treat me the way I like to be treated. So it really made me have this drive that I want to heal from this and I want to clear away any karma that is in between me and this other person. So when I went on my spiritual path, I was able to really learn about soul contracts and how we can like utilize it and how I was able to clear it and work on it and shift it and all those things as well. Let's talk about what soul contracts is and let's talk about how you can actually work on it. So first of all, soul contracts, it is an energetic contract like you would see in the law firm, okay? Everything we kind of have in the spiritual form is kind of what we have in this physical world as well. We have, you know, we have the guides who are like mental health practitioners. <laughs> we have law, which is kind of like the law of, universe, of the universe and contracts and all that stuff as well. And we have like our Akashic Records, which is a library, but then we have a library in here that has every book. Well, not every single book, but you know what I mean? Books as well from ancient to new. So I love how the universe really manifests physical things in our form, in our way that we can really kind of relate to how the universe and spirituality works as a whole. So with soul contracts, it's something that's going to be energetic. It's not going to be physical, of course, but it is something that we can actually clear in this lifetime. I think some people think that, oh, I've made a soul contract. Okay, I need to like roll it out. And yeah, if I'm getting abused or something's not happening or I'm getting negative effects from this personal situation that I just need to deal with it because it's part of my soul contract. And, you know, once I do that, then at the end of my life, I will be able to see it. That's if some people are thinking that way. But you don't actually have to wait that long. If you want to clear a soul contract, you can do it now. There is obviously ways that we can actually clear that karma in contract now. So contract, what is in the contract? Okay, so this is something that will be very personalized to you. I cannot say for everyone what their contract is, but sometimes it can simply just be that your soul has written out a contract before it comes into this earth and it sort of says everything it wants to learn, who, what sort of people it wants to, you know, what sort of people it wants to know, like what, what it needs to learn, what it wants to do, what's kind of like the storyline of how it wants to like learn to be itself or what, it, whatever, whatever is like, whatever is for you, of course. And you set a contract and then you come down into the earth because you can't come down on the earth unless you have the contract. Right. So you sometimes some souls who are a bit more newer, they're like, I don't really know what I want to learn. I want to learn everything that they kind of make contracts just for the sake of it. Like they just go, I just want to learn and I wouldn't mind learning of this soul and this soul. And maybe I might learn that it's very a bit fluid. But let's say for someone who's a bit more older soul like myself or you, you know, you um you've probably got a little bit more karma to heal, okay? You've probably got a little more things to work through and that is probably what's gonna be in a soul contract because your soul's like, I need to, I just wanna get this done, all right. Ready? Like, hurry up. <laughs> um, so yeah, you cannot come on this earth unless you have a soul contract and some souls don't are a bit fluid with their contracts, which is a bit more younger souls learning, like they just wanna learn something and the ones who are a bit like, like me and you, I'm sure, they're a bit more, um, they're a bit more strategic with this soul contract. They're a bit more intentional, okay? Because we want to heal certain things and we want to get through it quickly as well. Um, so that's kind of the way it works with soul contracts. You can't live a human life unless you have a contract. And the contract does not need to follow. That's the perfect thing about um, the thing that you get on this earth is you get free will and you can literally write a contract, which is why some younger souls don't really care and then literally be here and then don't follow any of it. And that is okay. 
And you're not going to get punished for it, of course, not like the law, um, but you definitely will need to repeat that. And that's the only difference is if you don't fulfill your soul contract, then you're going to have to repeat that in a different life. And that's why probably someone like me is like, I just want to fulfill everything on there. So I don't need to redo this again. Okay. <laughs> and I'm sure you're probably feeling that too in some way. So that's good. It's a good thing. It's not a bad thing, of course. Let's say that you've come here, you've written, you've written your soul contract, you've, you've gone, yeah, I want to learn from this person, this person, da 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 da. This is the path I want to take. This is a potential path I want to take, blah, blah, blah. You've written it out. It's in, it's signed. Okay. Yes, it none. It needs to be signed by you and in, in source energy. Okay. Then when you come down, you learn and you've got free will. You are kind of like a child who's going, you've got no rules in life. You can just do whatever you want. And this is where, once again, it's a reflection at the end of your life, whether you fulfill that soul contract or whether you've got the free will and you might need to just learn a different lesson because when you choose free will, and that's what's coming through strongly right now, is that you've just created more karma for you, right? And it's never a bad thing, but it's like you're going, if you don't follow <laughs> what's on the contract, um, the, the, the free will choices you make are going to be karma in some way in other lifetimes, okay? So it's important to just be aware of that when you make things that you feel, you know, sometimes we don't realize it's free will too. So just, just know you don't need to be nitpicky with your life, but just be aware that it does accumulate more karma if you're doing free will as well, okay? So we've willed that out. That's what soul contract is. It's energetic. It's something you need to write down and you sign up before you come down. But when you're down here, you can do whatever you like and good and bad, whatever, regardless, it's going to be karmic if it's free will. So a really good example um, of karma, uh, we've spoken about karma a little bit here. The karma is something that is a balance. It's part of the law of the universe, right? The cause and effect of your actions and your behaviors and what you do in, in the world, essentially. So regardless of something that's happened to you lifetimes and lifetimes ago, you will need to repay that in some way. And I hate saying that, but it's really the way it works. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. You deserve bad things. No, no, no. It's just the actions and the reactions that you did on certain lifetimes are always going to have to balance out in other lifetimes. Now, do you think I want to say that? Like you deserve all this bad stuff. You deserve all this. It's part of our human experience. The soul, unless you're literally evil, okay, which most of you guys are not if you're watching this, you have to do some bad things. You just have to. If you don't do it, how the hell are you going to learn in your lifetime, in your lifetime and soul's journey, okay? And it's like you need to do good things. You need to do good things so they balance out the bad. It just, it has to happen and it doesn't make it... In spiritual karma, it doesn't, they don't see it as good and bad. They don't go, yep, yeah, you're do bad. You're a bad person. You're a good person. No, no, no. Unless it's evil, that's a whole different thing. That's a whole different conversation. Let's get really just human, like just stop standard here. You're not a bad person. You need to go through bad things and good things in order to learn and grow. And that is the way karma works, okay? For example, let's go into an example here, okay? If you've been in a relationship with someone, let's say you're in a beautiful, let's say you are with someone you freaking love so deeply and you want to be with that person, okay? You know that the person, they know they love you, but they just won't have a bar at you. They don't, they show interest in you and then they ghost you. And you're like, what the hell's going on here? Well, you've looked into your Akashic records or your past lives, whatever, and you've seen that in other lifetimes, you cheated on that person, okay? And you weren't interested in them and you went down a different path and they wanted you so badly, but you didn't want them in that life, all right? In this life, now they're having the effects of that. And maybe you wrote, you wrote that soul contract that you wanted to rebalance that. You wanted to do right for them. You wanted to love them. You wanted to be available for them and not cheat on them and not abandon them again. But based on their soul contracts, they need to reflect based on what happened, what how you made them feel in that lifetime. So it kind of needs to balance out in that way. So regardless, the soul contract on both ends could be, this is a balancing karmic act, right? Or the, the, the karma could be cleared in this life where you are able to like really show that you're available. And then they come around and they're like, you know what? I want to be with you now. I'm ready. And then, you know, in that lifetime, you were able to clear that karma and now you're together and everything's great. 
I was so basic there. So please know that there's a lot to it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that could be a simple act as well. I hope that's kind of cleared out a little bit of karma and just knowing there's not bad or good in karma anymore on just the, the, the physical human. What we learn in life is that most of us are really good people and good souls. It's just we have to go through good and bad to balance our karma so we can grow. OK, that is all going to be tied into your soul contract and who you learn those lessons from and who is in your life. And the good thing about the soul contracts is they they are in your Akashic records. You can access your Akashic records and you can literally access your contracts. You can literally go into the universe, into your Akashic records and say, guides, I please ask you to show me my, my soul contract. There isn't any hidden agenda with it. You're allowed to look at what you set yourself out to do. You can go into your soul contract today and you can literally look at what was said. You can literally do it and you're able to alter your contract as well because it isn't fixed. Okay. It can be altered if you want it to be. I feel like you only to do that if you're really ready to release any really intense calm in your life, or you feel like there's people in your life that you're like, you know what? I've learned to like love them and move on and I'm done with this and I'm going to clear the karma and just clear the contact from this. You can do that as well. You can also also to note it's coming through is that the contract isn't a one single page. It is pretty much like a book as well. And for some people, that's what's coming through. Um, it can be a book as well for some people. And to know that sometimes like a few pages can be about one singular person. So you can just clear that aspect of contract as well. You don't need to clear the whole contract. And I wouldn't recommend you doing that either um, because you only want to do it if you want to clear some really intense karma in your life as well. Sometimes our human brain doesn't see the real like spirituality and the real wisdom out of things. And if we're clearing everything in our life, then it actually can go the opposite way with us. And we could actually be really in intense karma. And I want to say that because it's the way you I'm giving you the free will to change your contract and to do that. But at the same time, there will be a positive, there could be a, a negative effect on that change as well. If you're changing everything about your life in that contract, because it will probably accumulate more karma. And if you're in, and, and then you're not living in your soul's purpose because you're going into what your brain, your human brain thinks is your soul purpose. But the whole point of the contract is for you to follow it because your soul has set out for it to do. And that's why I don't personally go into contracts and change them and alter them because I personally think, well, like, let's just live the way I said I was going to, to do, right? And clear karma on along the way, but don't, I don't like to get in, I only think I did contract, um, I did like cut sort of soul contract clearings a few times um, because I personally like to, know that my soul set this for me to do. So I want to give myself the trust that I'm going to get through it, whatever comes my way. And then if something is really out of sorts and I'm like, I'm done with this person or something, then I know that I can do that as a free will as well. Just to clear as well, um, that if you are, like I said before, if you are clearing the karma or you're clearing contracts of people that actually aren't aligned with the actual original soul contract, that's when the negative aspect can come to you and the opposites of the karma can really um, sort of backfire. So that's why it's really about being mindful of this subject knowing about it, being curious and excited, but at the same time being really like, this is very serious. <laughs> so you don't want to stuff up just like you're in law. You do not want to be stuffing up here. You do not want to be writing all these, like changing everything up all the time. You want to follow the, the contract, right? And try your best to, to do it the right way as well. Okay. So a really simple way to clear any soul contracts is that you can literally say, I clear. Okay, I clear vows, promises, contracts that is bounding me to this person. And I, I, the words is so powerful that that's all it can take, right? You can also actually um, use a violet flame as clearing away. So you can visualize a violet flame and just see yourself ripping the part of the contract out of that particular situation. I need to really, the, the even spirits tell me right now, like you need to really know that it's part of the contract. You don't want to throw your whole contract in there because you just, yeah, you don't want to do that. You only want to get the things that you want to clear, get it out of the paper and throw it into the violet flame and it will actually dissolve it the fastest way. So when should you actually clear this soul contract, right? We've talked about a lot about what you can do. What are they? I feel it's when you feel like 
You've tried your best to be your best version and you're with someone or situation that is just not, it's not shifting. It's like stuck energy and you feel like you're like, you know what? this is like not right. I need to clear this. And this is where I think soul contracts are needed is where you can fully clear that karma, put it in the violet flame, or say you clear the karma, the vows, the promises and move on. And this actually does wonders for not only your own personal journey, but their own personal journey as well. That other soul will feel the effects of it. And that's why it's important to be really mindful when you're doing this, because not only you're infected, the people that you've put on the contract who are in your natural contract, they're going to get affected as well by it. So be really smart with these choices and be smart with the decision that you're going to make on this. Also, you can just clear it if you feel a bit stuck in your own journey and you feel like you want to clear away any stuckness. Um, or maybe you could ask your spirit guide to be like, guides or higher self, you know, what what should I do here? Like, you know, I'm feeling really stuck. Is there karma that I need to clear in my contract around this? Um And yeah, see what comes through with them because they are so smart. They're so much smarter than us that sometimes they can give us a bit more of that wiser side that maybe we're seeking in that moment as well. So guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Hopefully you guys have learned something about soul contracts and just be very mindful of the cause and effect that it can happen in whatever decision you make, okay? That includes what's in your contract, that includes every action and reaction that you do. Everything has a cause and effect of it. So try and do well in the world, but also help yourself clear the karma and move forward towards your soul purpose and go towards what feels right for you and what feels aligned with you. Because if things don't feel aligned and you're clearing stuff, it can cause, it can go the opposite effect. So we don't want that guys. Be really mindful here. If you need any questions or even like you need a question you need to ask me, please shoot me a message in the comments or an email as well. Um, I'm happy to get back to you. But other than that, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel and to be part of my community. And I will see you guys all in two days. Namaste.